Control Strike Mid, Valorante Better, More Girls, Cuter Boys, Better E-Dating, Friendly Community, Better Aesthetic, Prettier Skins, Smarter Strategy, Better Maps, Higher Skill. Renyan FPS, 2024. Over the last few months, I've been reviewing demos and coaching a lot of silvers. And every time I make a video about coaching a silver or doing a hard stack episode, there are only two types of comments. Either people say that they're way better than the video participant, or they're just asking me to coach them. I don't coach people unless it's for a video, but I decided to make this video to help every single struggling silver to make it out of your rank. And I promise it will be way easier than you think. Today, I will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial that will help you rank up from silver slash 5000 or below premier rating in the shortest period of time. And let's be honest, silvers have always been the majority of CS player base, and most of them spend thousands of hours with without improving even a bit. So if you want to finally make it out of silver, please activate your TikTok brain at 200% without skipping any important steps of the tutorial. Now let's begin. And we're going to start with structuring your playtime. Imagine your usual day, coming home after a very difficult day of 5th grade and finally you have time to sit in your room, vape and consume snooze. After that, there is no better way to relax than playing a few games of CS. So you open up Steam and queue for your 600 rating premiere match. Stop! This is your mistake. If you take snooze or even smoke crack in 5th grade, I have zero issues with that, but I do not allow you from now on to queue any computer competitive games without a warm-up. Get your priorities right. And this is why it's so important. 90% of the silvers barely work on their mechanical skills. So by simply doing a 10 to 15 minutes aim routine, you're already being better than the majority of people in your rank. And now you might say, but Hayek, since you opened this secret to millions of people who watch your videos daily because you're so popular and uh, blind, wouldn't that mean that every silver will start doing an aim routine from now on? No, no, of course not. The majority of the people who watch this video have 0.5 seconds attention span and even if they will do an aim routine after getting inspired by watching this video, they will forget about it by tomorrow. So you, exactly you who will decide to stay consistent will be better than the majority of the people on your rank. But how do I practice? What exactly should I do? Well this is the thing, our step number one was to agree to implement a warm up routine into your game. We signed a contract and if you break it from now on, if you will go into your games without a warm up, you must pay a fee of 600 million dollars or just subscribe to this channel because I value my viewers so much. And I definitely do not commit tax fraud by promoting gambling to underage audience. And step number two would be to structure your aim routine according to your weak spots. And coming from the fact that you're a silver, I'm gonna assume that every part of your aim is your weak spot. But if I'm being more serious here, I worked with over 10 silvers in the last few months and believe it or not, they all actually had very similar mechanical problems. Shooting while moving, crosshair placement and spray control. This is why I made this small aim routine and divided it in three parts. Each part is gonna be exactly five minutes because I doubt that your small TikTok brain will be able to handle more. Right, so first two parts of this warm up is gonna be specifically on this map, 5e aim hub. The link to this map is gonna be in the description of this video. So you start up the map, you jump up, choose any side. Yeah, okay, you don't have a knife, you can pick up, I don't know, a knife. ADHD brain, this is what you're gonna be doing. So you spot any bot, any distance you want, for example, this bot right there. And your idea would be to strafe left and right by pressing only A and Z, following the bot's head with your mouse. So not only you're practicing counter strafing, you're also practicing tracking because you track the bot's head with your crosshair like this. And after you've done that for a little while, after you got used to it, you are gonna start killing the bot on a counter strafe. So right now I'm gonna be going left by pressing A, then I'm gonna counter strafe by pressing D and shooting at the same time. So like this, like this. And this is what you're gonna be doing uh, with the bots like this for five minutes. You need to hold the bot's head, then do a counter strafe, shoot him and kill him immediately. Your idea right now to immediately perfectly stop, perfectly stop, and your bullets will be 100% accurate. But don't do like this, don't wait out. So not, not like stop and then shoot, not like this. You need to do it on the move all the time. And this is what you're gonna be doing for the upcoming five minutes in a row. Before we continue, let me introduce today's video partner, Skin Club. But you have to be 18 plus to play on a site. They're one of the biggest case opening sites out there with instant withdrawal system. They got daily cases to open, lots of fun game modes to choose from, and a huge variety of deposit methods. 
I played on the side myself and as you can see I managed to profit in a matter of seconds. After that I tried my luck in case battles where I instantly won in a 2 vs 2. And then I withdrew my skins and immediately got them in my inventory. If you wanna check them out use my link in the description for a deposit bonus and now let's get on with the video. After you've done that, you switch to um, Chinese symbols, Chinese symbols, recall training, yeah? So this is the second part of your aim training and you're gonna be doing it right here. So um, since we are silvers, we're gonna stay as close to this wooden thing as possible and spray our entire mag inside this circle. Our entire idea would be to get as many shots as possible towards this circle, right? to learn how to spray control. I'm a fucking bot, but ideally you should be getting at least like 28, 27 out of 30. Yeah, so when you consistently can get 27 out of 30, you do a few steps back, okay? Then it's like, okay, can you get 27 out of 30? Yeah, okay, okay, you can. Then step backwards until, for example, Okay, you see, you can. So this is your uncomfortable range. And you practice at this range for as long as you can consistently get 27 out of 30. And you do it for five minutes. After that, we are gonna be jumping towards pre-fire maps. I'm gonna start with Mirage pre-fire, yeah? So this is a very simple concept of the map. There are bots placed all over the map in common angles where cities can be. And what you're gonna be doing here is simply going towards here and just pre-firing those bots, yeah? So. What it gives you, it gives you the opportunity to practice your crosshair placement and anytime you feel like restarting, you can basically just restart. If you're like a bot like me and don't know how to pre-fire shish. Basically, this helps you to uh, improve your crosshair placement ideally. After doing that, you can take a small break and only after that queue into the game. Now that you have an aim routine, you simply need to understand that working on your map pool is as important as training your aim. Good players spend thousands of hours learning new maps and positions on them, while you simply think that Nuke and Vertigo are so much fun just because Franz J and Onepixel play them. In reality, maps in CS2 are divided by two simple categories, bug maps and team maps. And now, my disabled friend, we need to focus on learning and improving on bug maps first. If you hear a term bug map for the first time, I will try to explain it to you in Fortnite terms. A bug map is a map that allows more space and opportunities for individual playstyle without having to rely on your teammates. Geometry of the bug map rewards you for taking aim duels and doesn't have a lot of long range areas or areas where multiple angles have to be cleared at the same time. Perfect examples of bug maps are Mirage, Anubis and Ancient. Those maps have perfect geometry balance between close, mid and long range distances, which allows riflers to be as effective as snipers, and also allows both sides to be decently balanced. Maps like Vertigo or Nuke, on the other hand, gives cities huge advantage because of its geometry. And this is why I would highly recommend you to focus on playing pug maps where you can do more effective plays and more impact as a solo player. Now that we agreed to study and play pug maps, let's focus on something even more important, and that is your utility. All of the silver players that I coached in the last few months barely knew any basic smokes, but after learning them you can't even imagine how easier it became for them to play. By simply smoking window and connector on Mirage you can take mid control like 90% of the time, especially on silvers. Your opponents simply won't know how to counter your smokes because it requires a way different level of team play and coordination. Learning this utility will give you a huge boost to your win rate and success in individual plays, but utility plays another huge factor in your game. It saves your dumb teammates from dying early in a round. Hear me out. How often has this happened to you when two or three of your teammates go to middle mirage without a single nade, they die there and then they blame you for being a baiter and not helping them? Because in their eyes not dying with them equals baiting. By simply throwing a window and connector smoke, you literally save those bots from early death. That's why it is so important. Yes, those idiots will never say thank you, they will never appreciate that you single-handedly made them take mid with zero effort, but it doesn't matter. You will start winning more rounds and that is what truly matters. One of the biggest mistakes during the game from low rank players that I personally noticed is that they simply don't absorb all pieces of information on the map. Starting from not being able to hear footsteps... Huh? 
and finishing with not rotating towards the other side when the bomb was dropped by opponents. Of course, ideally, all four of your mates should be giving info on the current situation on the map for you to have a full image, but harsh truth is that even on 20k premiere rating, people barely talk. And that is why it's so important to learn receiving even the smallest pieces of information and being able to make plays around them. Start paying attention to the minimap, adjust the volume on your headphones, ask your mates to give more info and trust me, your playstyle will become way more confident. All of the hardstack requests on my Discord server usually starts with phrases like I can't win because of my teammates, my teammates are always trash, my team always dies or can't refrag, etc, etc. If you take a look at all pros when they play face it, they always play with friends, not because they're incapable of winning the game by themselves, but simply because they need someone to rely on. Someone who knows basic utility, who would give proper info about the situation on a map, who would refrag you in case you die, and so on. So why not to simply start searching for people to play with? Oh, you have social and anxiety, okay. What's worse, sitting on silver and crying that you can't win, or simply saying, hello, I'm searching for someone to rank up with because I'm tired of losing, do you wanna play with me? For people with social and anxiety, I will provide you with two ways that will help you find the mates to play with. Number one, simply go into my Discord server. This server is a perfect place for people who are searching for coaching, improving and playing together. There are dozens of daily requests from hardstack players who need people to play with. Or number two, you go into a game and for example you found a player who gives good info, makes decent plays and plays for the win. After the game you simply offer him to play next and add him to your friends list. Keep doing that and in a matter of one week you will have plenty of people to play with. I personally overcame the fear of talking to random people long time ago because I have to work and communicate with random people all of the time. I make posts whenever I'm searching for people for my videos and sometimes I have to schedule recording sessions for 10 or more people at the same time, so this social skill is a very useful tool even in real life. And just like that, if you follow all the steps in this video, you're gonna make it out of silver way faster than the majority of players. Don't forget that there are no shortcuts in this game, you need to improve every single day and step by step. So take your time and follow the steps that I gave you and let me know how it works out for you. God bless you, I'm out.